Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Qadabia Palace the Cypriot President Nikos Anastadiades and his accompanying delegation. Upon the arrival of the President, an official reception protocols were held and the two countries' national anthems were played. Then the Cypriot president greeted the members of the Bahraini delegation, while His Majesty the King greeted the delegation accompanying the president. His Majesty then held talks with the Cypriot president in the presence of members of the two delegations. 
His Majesty the King welcomed the Cypriot President and discussed with him a means of boosting bilateral relations and cooperations in various vital and private sectors in economic, investment, commercial, cultural and touristic sectors to achieve common interests. His Majesty underlined the importance of the Cypriot President's visit to Bahrain in fostering partnership in light of the promising investment opportunities existing in both countries. His Majesty the King and the Cypriot President exchanged views on regional and international developments and issues of common interest. For his part, the President of Cyprus expressed pleasure about visiting the Kingdom and thanked His Majesty the King for the gracious welcome and hospitality. He also expressed appreciation for His Majesty the King's efforts to promote historical relations of friendship and cooperation with his country. He praised the initiatives of His Majesty the King, which aimed to reinforce the principles of coexistence and tolerance among different cultures and affirmed that Cyprus is keen on deepening bilateral ties. His Majesty and the Cypriot President expressed approval of the two agreements in the spirit of bilateral cooperation. His Majesty then held a lunch banquet to honour the guests. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Your Excellency, Nikos Anastasiades, President of the Republic of Cyprus. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you all here today to the signing of an agreement and a memorandum of understanding between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Cyprus that we are confident will further strengthen the excellent friendly ties between the two countries. First, it is my honor to invite His Excellency Dr. Abd Latif bin Rashid Zayani, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and His Excellency Mr. Nikos Krostoledes, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cyprus, to sign the agreement between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the Republic of Cyprus on mutual visa exemption for holders of diplomatic, special and service passports. Next, may I invite His Excellency Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Minister of Finance and National Economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and Her Excellency Mrs. Natasha Pelades, Minister of Energy, Commerce and Industry of the Republic of Cyprus, to sign the Memorandum of Understanding on Economic and Technical Cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Cyprus.
His Majesty and the Cypriot President expressed approval of the two agreements in the spirit of bilateral cooperation. His Majesty then held a lunch banquet to honour the guests. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet reaffirmed the importance of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's decree law, extending progressive criminal justice reforms on alternative sentencing. In this regard, the cabinet commended the efforts of the Ministry of Interior and the concerned authorities and directed the expeditious implementation of all necessary steps to implement the decree law. The Cabinet highlighted the importance of bilateral engagement to be held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Cyprus Nikos Anastadiadis in strengthening broad cooperation and coordination between the two countries, welcoming the President's visit to the Kingdom and the bilateral agreements in place. In recognition of the International Day of Democracy, the Cabinet commended His Majesty the King's commitment to supporting Bahrain's national democracy, which has contributed to furthering the Kingdom's progress and development. The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums and outlined the following. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Sri Lanka on the exemption of visa requirements for holders of diplomatic, special and official passports. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a MOU between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Morocco on oil and gas cooperation. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft resolution on regulating joint financial services. Secondly, the Cabinet reviewed the following topic. A memorandum by the Minister of Labour and Social Development regarding compliance with the annual afternoon work ban during summer 2021, reporting 11,342 inspections and indicating a high level of employer commitment to protect the Kingdom's workforce. The Cabinet took note of several ministerial reports and outcomes of various meetings, including commending the recognition of nine Bahraini public schools by the Microsoft Showcase Incubator Schools programme the Council of the Arab League in its 156th regular session and the 24th meeting of the GCC Ministers concerned with municipal affairs and their participation in the 47th session of the Arab Labour Conference and the Crown Prince Camel Festival held in Taif, Camel Square, Saudi Arabia. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Anas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, in presence of its members. His Highness expressed gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his strong support to the foundation and its activities. His Highness lauded His Majesty's directives, support and continuous effort in the humanitarian work carried out by the foundation and his care for orphans, widows and all those in need in Bahrain to provide a decent life for all. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also commended His Majesty's humanitarian role and compassionate acts for brotherly and friendly countries and people, adding that they reflect the firm and clear positions of Bahrain leadership, government and people towards brothers and friends in various countries, the latest of which was His Majesty's directives to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to Afghanistan to help the Afghan people and support them during the challenging conditions which is part of His Majesty's endeavours to consolidate international solidarity based on the fraternal and human ties that bind Bahrain with the various peoples of the world. His Highness also praised the support the RHF receives from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also thanked the Board of Trustees, the Executive Management and all RHF members for the dedicated efforts. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed on the RHF efforts for the digital transformation of its activities to facilitate procedures and accelerate the provision of services. The Foundation has achieved 70% of the digitalisation project. 
His Highness stressed the steady development of the foundation in line with His Majesty the King's visions and aspirations and the significance of taking important steps to implement His Majesty's directives to continue humanitarian work creatively and to provide distinguished and comprehensive care for orphans, widows and all deserving groups with ease. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed happiness with the second victory of Cordoba CF in the Second Spanish Division. His Highness said that the team is carrying on along the path of achieving the administration's objectives and that the club is keen on performing in the best possible manner. He wished the team further success in the coming period as it endeavours to qualify for the first flight of Spanish football. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has affirmed that the Bahrain Victoria cycling team has become a milestone in representing Bahrain at international gatherings. In line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visions on achieving the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the need to take advantage of sports to promote it internationally. In this regard, His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated that the success of the team's rider Sonny Cabrelli in winning the men's road race at the European Championships in Trento, Italy, noting that the prestigious European Road Championship title crowns the successful efforts of the rider and the team over the past period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that Team Bahrain Victorious has set the best examples in raising the national banners at European gatherings through reaching podiums at many championships, confirming the tremendous efforts exerted by the cyclists as well as the technical and administrative staff. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended their outstanding efforts exerted by Sonny Cabrelli, wishing the team further success. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues his field visits to sports clubs. His Highness visited Maharat Club and Alhala Club within the framework of His Highness's approach of enhancing communications with sports bodies for the implementation of plans and programmes that aim to develop sports games in line with the policies of the General Sports Authority to achieve more successes for Bahraini sports. The visit was attended by the Deputy President of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and CEO of GSA, Dr Abdurrahman Sadiq Asghar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid met with the President of Maharat Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the President of Alhala Club, Hisham Abdulaziz Al Awadi, and a number of members from both clubs. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of the clubs through holding events and embracing young people in sports teams and participating in local competitions, as well as representing Bahrain in various championships. He also hailed the achievements of the clubs and urged them to continue developing the level of sports and athletes. His Highness listened to a briefing from the presidents of the clubs on their future plans. Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in visiting the clubs and pride in their achievements, which contributed to the development of Bahraini sports, noting that clubs are an essential partner in the development of the sports sector. For their part, the presidents of the clubs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness, affirming that his visit reflects his keenness to support the efforts and develop the sports sector. The President of Cyprus, Nikos Anastadiades, visited the Economic Development Board, the EDB headquarters, where he was welcomed by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed means of enhancing bilateral relations and investment cooperation and reviewed facilities and services provided to investors and promising investment opportunities in the Kingdom. The Cypriot President was briefed on the EDB's role in promoting the Kingdom in various global markets and attracting direct investments as well as its strategic plan to achieve Bahrain's economic vision 2030. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif Al Ziani, held a meeting with his Cypriot counterpart, Nikos Christoloudis, in the aim of deepening political, economic, and social cooperation between the two countries. The two parties discussed bilateral ties, which are based on mutual respect, as well as various regional and international matters of mutual interest. The ministers then held a press conference in which Dr Al Ziani welcomed his guest and praised the Cypriot President's visit to the Kingdom based on an invitation from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,156,523 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,097,982 had taken the second and 267,550 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 978 with 75 recoveries and 121 registered new cases. 64 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 41 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.